Good morning, everyone. Again, uh, welcome to our new day to this day in the wedding ceremony of the church and family. And now we start the ceremony. Uh, so uh, now we would like to invite uh, the bride and, uh, and her daughter to come in and join with George. Please welcome. Please come in.
this charge paid and this carry Marshall because we live in the world of all joy and fear we search for the meaning and strength in this seeming disorder of things to discover the truest garland to this quest of ours when we realize love in all its magnitudes after all love is an abiding force of life that allows us to face fear and uncertainty in with courage but we need to look care of love for the giving of oneself in love is not easy we must learn to give of our love without total submission therefore if you are giving give your joy your interest your understanding and your knowledge they are all expressions that make up life being just given remember to preserve yourself your integrity and your individuality this is a challenge of the kind of love that is within marriage marriage is a joint of two people mind to mind body to body and to nature to nature you give your small selves and turn to other yet although marriage symbolizes the intimate chain of two real lives this series will not diminish but rather enhance the opportunities for growth and development of the partner marriage represents a mutual covenant in which each partner is entrusted to be in the garden of others' right and solitude in affirming this choice it is affirming dignity, the friendship and love the love which has for others as a chance is no longer stronger than this weak link. The success of a marriage depends on the strength of a partners. So with love, trust, and qualities, and a few efforts, your marriage will give confidence to others. This is the way to live your life. So Mr. George, Ms. Kerry, I'm married because you enjoy all the comments and because you want to be better. You marry because you each of you can grow in humanity and in love or fully twice touching others. Is that right? <laughs> you marry because you can be one person of life as life mates. You are married because you understand that with your love comes an old women's and deep desire to reduce others' unhappy moments and enhance one another's happiness. I need your confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> so please keep this understanding of your marriage fresh and alive in the years ahead. In marriage, the two families come together. As one family is expanded, so we have um, your family here, right? And your family. Oh, wow, this side. So you, you divide equally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, to far happy and prosperous marriage, the Buddha advised couples to absorb this practice to respect and cherish each other. The common sense to be faithful and to take care of each other to enjoy all their resources and manage them wisely. Share your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> to respect and be friendly with each other's friends and relatives and to show their love by demands and deeds. Okay. Okay, so now. You want to start? <laughs> <laughs> have asked us to serve as the witness to their marriage, a marriage that they themselves made today. Their vows are their own, and they have been spoken in their hearts before. They are now spoken before us, their witnesses. So please confirm with you, right? Of course I know why you're here, but please confirm with you. You come here to witness the marriage of Mr. George and Kelly, right? Yes. Thank you. Um, thank you. So please, um, with the George and um, can we please join your right hand? 
with your promise. Patience is 
know, it's not easy to maintain that kind of marriage. But if you develop that kind of patience and tolerance in any circumstances, when um, you have any kind of argument, any kind of dispute and so forth, you can resolve in a peaceful way and harmless way for yourself and for your children, grandchildren, and other children. Um, so patience is so important in any aspect of life. Um, and you have to uh, recognize how you act with each other, how you say with each other in a patient way too. When it comes to the time just you need to resolve the conflict. Because, you know, for us even, um, uh, personally, we have a lot of things in our mind. Sometimes we decide to do this or do that, and but somehow we uh, quit or we change the course of that path. Not, the, not talking about we join together as a person. So that's why we need that kind of virtue, patient and tolerance. Okay, so that's a short minute of the uh, the meanings of exchanging the ring. Yeah. So re please remember two important meanings of the ring. The first one is unity and eternal law. Is that right? And the second one is the ring of patience. So when you have some problem of growth, try to lift your finger and say, oh, I have to be patient with my wife or my husband. Make sense? Okay. So now it's time for us to witness uh, Mr. George and uh, Ms. Um, Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> so, here. Okay, now uh, let us see what Kelly. Okay, so Mr. George, uh, please um, uh, say something before you uh, give the uh, ring to your wife. Yeah. 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 Don't say it. Wow, I love this video. So I put faith to receive this dream as a token of our friendship and as a symbol of all we share. I also pledge to be my love and faith in us for the world. Okay, so you wear that virtual. Patient control plus the total law. Okay, so the next part, uh, we do the UT candles. Plus, cultivate honest love for living creatures. 
Along comes first Jewish peace and happiness, right? It love, kindness over the entire cosmos and sustain these regulations with a noble way of living. In this way, free from wrong will, greed, and attachment, we who practice Baha'i's love will transcend samsara, the servant, and acceptness of life. May you, with the George, Faith and Miss Kerry Marshall and each friend and family members now connected by UT candles and all recent spirits connected by the UT candles of God be blessed by the night and work. Trust and love. Okay, so now is the time for uh, the, um, uh, the representative of uh, each side. Um, to uh, pick the candles and give to uh, the bride and the groom. And this is symbolized that the, um, you pass that addition of the two parties, the two parties join as one. Okay, so the next step, now you hold the candles that represent the two families. Um, that has been passed out by your ancestors, your grandparents, parents, and so forth. So please, now, uh, join together to light the unity candles to symbolize that you will enjoy each other as much. Not the true law, because if 
you try to control your spouse in the way that you want to, that means you love yourself. Let me tell you a story, a short story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this uh, king, he said, wow, I love, I mean, when he told to his queen, I love you too much. And this queen said, wow, I know you love me too much. Uh, I know that you love me, ask yourself. But what happened if I have some affair with the other guy? Good morning, everyone. Again, uh, welcome to our new day. Uh, And now we start the ceremony. Uh, so uh, now we would like to invite uh, the bride and, uh, and her daughter to come in and join with George. Please welcome. Please come in. Please <laughs> yeah. you can uh, start. Thanks for this, um, all of us, uh, 